Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of 1 PSM KYQ in 1 minute. So let us see, before that, we are starting a NEET PG test and analysis fashion on an academy platform from the 24th of July. And these are your wonderful exit videos from whom you can learn live on the platform. Use my code PSM10 to get a 10% off. So the question that keeps coming is from the chapter of communicable disease. What is serial interval? Is it the gap between primary secondary case? Is it between index primary case? Is it time taken for a person from receipt of infection to develop maximum infectivity? Is it time taken from infection till a person infects another person? So what is serial interval? I will just tell you serial interval is the time gap between primary and secondary cases. Now uh, let us try to understand all these terms. First of all, what is a primary case? See, primary case is the first case of infectious origin, the first case introduced into the population. Very important. First case introduced in the population. That is what is primary case. What is index case, guys? Index case is the first case that comes to the notice of an investigator. First case to come to the First case to come to the notice of an investigator. Alright, now the primary case may not necessarily be the index case. Alright, primary is the first case introduced of infectious origin. Index is the first case coming to the notice of an investigator, epidemiologist, whatever. Eye for an eye. And what is secondary case, guys? Secondary case, all those cases that develop. All right, all those cases that develop following what? All those cases that develop following exposure, all right, following exposure to a primary case. Very, very important. And the question that was asked to you, what is serial interval? Serial interval, like when we watch serials, there is a gap between first episode and next episode. So, serial interval is similarly the time interval between. It is the time interval which is between very, very important primary case and the secondary case. All right, that's what is a serial interval. Let's have a look at the other terms. This is very important. Recept of infection to develop maximum infectivity. We are talking about generation time. All right, and the time taken from infection till a person infects another person, it's communicability, the period of communicability. All right, also one more thing you must know, what is median incubation period? Median incubation period is the time taken for 50% of infections to occur. The time taken for 50% infections to occur is median incubation period. We all know what is incubation period. The time between entry of organisms, okay, or entry of organisms to appearance of first sign and symptoms to appearance of sign and symptoms in our body. So that is incubation period. Incubation period is a term which is used for infectious diseases. The synonym of this term for non-communicable diseases is latent period. Please remember this is a synonym, all right? This one over here is a synonym for non-infectious diseases or for non-communicable disease. So this was a short episode of PYQ where I told you certain important definitions for communicable uh, diseases. Thank you so much for watching.